Welcome to the Relationship Recovery Podcast, hosted by Jessica Knight, a certified life coach who specializes in narcissistic and emotional abuse. This podcast is intended to help you identify manipulative and abusive behavior, set boundaries with yourself and others, and heal the relationship with yourself so you can learn to love in a healthy way. Today, I want to touch on conversations with a narcissist. And I think that this episode is really just meant to validate you and how you're feeling. Conversations with a narcissist are exhausting. They are dizzying. They are nerve wracking. And they often make you feel like you're going insane. You are likely being gaslit. So you're questioning your reality and your sanity. And the circular conversations, like when a conversation just goes around in the same cycle over and over again, often leave you feeling worse than if you've never even had it in the first place. But it takes a while for a person to realize that they're not dealing with a rational person. A narcissist is not a rational person. At first, you probably spend time over explaining yourself until you start to realize that it's a narcissist. And if we relate to them as if they function like a healthy person with a degree of self-awareness or integrity, then we are just gaslighting ourselves. I mean, the reason that you do this is because you want to trust their words. You're not someone who deceives and manipulates. And you trust that people who claim to love you will do the same. You likely give them the benefit of the doubt because you want it for yourself, but you do believe that somebody that says they love you wouldn't do anything to hurt you or would want to care about how you feel. But the problem is, is that narcissists don't think. They operate by different rules. And when we fail to recognize that, it sets us up for manipulation by them. It sets us up for four-hour conversations that not one part of us is ever heard. And it's very likely that conversations are filled with different manipulation tactics. They will likely make you wish you never started the conversation in the first place. And somehow always the conversation manages to twist. So you end up feeling like the bad guy or girl, and they assume the role of being the victim. And so before you engage with a narcissist, you have to ask yourself, is this conversation even worth having? And if it is, you need to be prepared that your point of view may not be heard at all. And be okay with that. And I know that this can be really tough to work through, but sometimes I also feel like naming the true thing gets us closer to healing because we're actually seeing things for as they are and not for as we wish they were. And so, like I said, I know this was tough, but I hope it's helpful to you. And if you need any support, please feel free to reach out to me at Emotional Abuse Coach on Instagram and at emotionalabusecoach.com.